Hello guys, you're over M24.com YouTube channel, name is Vadim and today we're changing the display on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. The difficulty is medium and we will start by removing the back cover. Our display is damaged, but if you have a new display, it would also be good to wrap the display with a special film to protect it. We put the smartphone with a back cover on the heating mat. The temperature is 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. You can touch the smartphone to check whether it is warm enough. After 5 minutes of heating, you can remove the smartphone from the heating mat and start opening the back cover. As soon as you get the tool under the cover, spray isopropyl alcohol to dry the adhesive base. The smartphone has a certain level of protection against getting anything. So, it is a little more difficult to disassemble than other models. The cover in this case comes with a camera cover, so the adhesive will only be along the edges of the back cover. And so we remove the back cover. Now we need to unscrew the screws at the upper part. We use a H30 Phillips screwdriver. The screws on this model are almost all the same. Disconnect the wireless charging and NFC connectors and remove the cover. The black one is a wireless charging, it is a little stuck on the bottom, the NFC is located on the metal cover. Disconnect the RP speaker connector and detach the cover with antennas and the speaker. Now we need to unscrew all screws at the bottom using a H3 Phillips screwdriver. The screws will be slightly stuck in the cover. We will use tweezers to pull them out. We hook the edges and remove the assembly with a loudspeaker and antennas. Disconnect the battery connector. Now we need to pull out the card tray, which we have for two SIM cards or an SIM card and a memory card. Unscrew three screws securing the subboard with a H30 Phillips screwdriver.
Disconnect two enterboard cable connectors. Gently pick up the edges and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have a USB Type-C charging port, a microphone, antenna contacts and a card holder on the reverse side. Let's move on to the main board. Disconnect the connectors and remove the interboard cables. Pay attention to the cable leading to the display. The connector is actually located on the inner unprotected part of the display. Be careful not to press on the connector with force, otherwise the display may be damaged. Disconnect the connectors of the side buttons and the front camera. We can't remove the camera yet. We hook the edges of the circuit board with a tool and try to lift it up. We turn over the motherboard, disconnect the connectors and take out the rear cameras. Now we need to remove the front camera and the battery. We again put the smartphone, this time with the side of the display, on the heating mat for 3 minutes. The temperature is around 60 degrees Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit. After 3 minutes we proceed to remove the battery. There are no pull tabs to remove the battery, so we slightly heated the surface of the battery, took a plastic film, put it under the battery, spray isopropyl alcohol and begin to move the tool along. On this model we can damage the backlight with an isopropyl alcohol, but still don't spray too much liquid. Yes, and under the battery is a fingerprint sensor, you do not need to use the lever in this place. We remove the battery quite easily thanks to isopropyl alcohol and heating. It is better to clean the battery from glue residue, but it is very important not to touch the back rectangular sticker, it is protection of the fingerprint sensor.
If you need to replace the vibration motor, please look at this example. The vibration motor separates quite easily. The new vibration motor can be glued onto the old adhesive or double-sided tape can be used. We need to detach the front camera, it is glued on the bottom, but there is no display protection under the cameras either, so be careful. You need to carefully slide the tool under the camera and slightly lift it up. We take out the package with a new display model. The displays look as identical as possible. So we start the assembly with a new display model. Insert the motherboard, then insert the front camera. We connect the connectors. Now we stick the stripes of 3M tape on the battery to fix the battery in the frame of the display model. Where the black rectangle is, we will not stick anything. We clean the surface before gluing and please do not touch the fingerprint sensor. We remove the release liners of double-sided tape. It is critical not to damage the battery in the process. We attach the battery, center it, connect the connector to check the allowable distance for the cable and then disconnect the battery connector.
we attach the subboard and screw in the three screws with a H3O Phillips screwdriver. Then we connect the interboard cables. Remember not to put too much pressure on the display connector. We put assembly with a speaker and screw it in the screws. Attach the cover with a, an RP speaker and connect the connector. We connect the remaining connectors. Attach the cover with a NFC tag and wireless charging and connect the connectors. Screw in the remaining screws with a H3O Phillips screwdriver. We turn on the smartphone to check, make sure that we have assembled everything correctly. While the smartphone is starting up, we will attach the back cover. In our case, we keep the original adhesive. You can also use a sealant for gluing. It's better to attach the core and tighten it with a rubber bands for a few hours. Insert the card tray. We test the display and touch screen. We can also check the rest of the function until we glue the back cover. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel read our articles on our website take care of yourself and until next video